Let's make cotton punies. That's one of, other than prepared sliver or roving that you can buy, carding cotton and making a puni is probably the number one way to get fi cotton fiber to spin. This is some cotton I grew in my garden. And you can see how short the fibers are. This has the seeds in it. So you can pick off the seeds and put the cotton on the carter. This is some that I've already picked. I don't want to spend all my time picking seeds out. Not too much. Gentle, light strokes. Pass it back. Back to the first card. Cotton that you hand card is never going to be as smooth, thin as smooth as cotton, fiber prepared cotton that you buy. Now I've got it all on one and I just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Get it started. This is a small dowel. And I'm going to roll the cotton over the dowel. Then I'm going to roll it a little bit. Get this end off. And it down in the bottom or roll it over the card again. Pop it off. This is kind of a light, easy puny, ready to spin. Here we go again. The biggest problem people have is they put too much cotton on the card. It should be quick, light work. I like to card about 10 punies and then spin them. Card them again and spin them. Now this is very light, open cotton. Sometimes when you buy a bag of cotton, it's been mashed together. And then you'll have to do a little more carding to get it open up. You can also blend. Um, I've done it. You can, can card other things into the cotton. Now I'm just going to roll it over again. And pop it off. It's now ready to spin. You can play around. What if I wanted to blend a little bit of cotton, spread it out evenly, and here I have a little bit of blue wool. And this is just what I have here. So I'm going to put that on. I've also done this with a little bit of silk that I cut so that it would be short staple like the cotton or silk noil. This isn't going to have a lot of color. You can do as much as you want, as little as you want. You can also do a 50-50 blend. Here we go. Roll it off on the stick. And I don't know if you can see just a tiny little bit of blue in the puny, but it will give a whole new effect when I spin it. It will also spin a, bit, a little bit differently. This wool, I'll pull it out, has a staple this long. The cotton has a much shorter staple, like, oh, well, here's the staple. It might be half an inch at the most. If you can see that, you probably can't. Maybe if I hold it up in front of the blue wool. I'm going to demonstrate the easiest way to do punies, and that's sitting in a nice chair. I've been doing some of the, the, the video at the table, and I'll go back to the table because you can get a close-up, better picture. But it's easier to card 
if you can hold the cards down on your lap instead of on a table. What I'm going to do now is card in a little bit of Tessa. This is Tessa silk that's been rainbow dyed. You can see the cotton is probably half an inch long. Silk has a much longer staple. Very long. So to get this to work, I want to cut the silk so that it's about the same length as the cotton. And I'm just going to cut some off. It can be kind of short, like noils, and put it across. Then I'm going to card it in. And you can see it's much easier to card with the cards down rather than up on the table. And I could have opened the silk out and mixed in a lot of other colors rather than just the kind of green that was there. Now I'm ready to roll this. And I left my puny stick <laughs> off of the card. And again, the mistake most people make in any kind of carding or combing is putting too much fiber on the cards at once. Now I can roll this around. And there you have a puny ready to spin of cotton and silk. It's a lot of fun to add different colors to your punies. Spinning dog hair is very much like spinning cotton because dog down is very, very short. You can see this fiber is very short. The dog hair, not from my terrier, needs to be brushed out of the dog, the undercoat, not what you clip off. If you use what you clip off, it's going to be like rope. It may feel soft on the dog, but when you spin it, it's not soft. This, uh, now I look really good in black. This is down that was brushed out of a beautiful Samoyed that lives in Tucson named Star. She does obedience, agility, and rally. Oh, what is that, Wallace? Anyway, very interested to the other, the other dogs to see this. I'm going to, to make punies. I like to spin dog hair from punies or drum card it. I have a lot more help than I need. Leave it. My dogs know there's another dog in the house and they want to know what's going on. And again, I'm just going to use the Samoyed, but if you want, you could card something in. You can dye the Samoyed. It, it's one of the, the very best dog hair for spinning, although any dog hair can be spun. It doesn't have to be a purebred dog or any kind of a special dog at all. Now I'm going to roll this into my puny. I'll make a couple punies before I start. Again, spinning dog hair is very much like spinning cotton. You can do it on a support spindle, a, a tockley or a, a charka, or you can do it on a lightweight hand spindle. Now there's a puny. <laughs> 